People ask me, am I going to die of this disease? Not necessarily, because these are diseases that you can live with for a really long time. The focus in polycythemia vera and in essential thrombocythemia is to try and prevent you from having a blood clot, which can be a fatal event. But if you take good care of yourself and follow the recommendations of your doctor, you can live with this disease and hardly know that you have it, except for the fact that you're being very watchful and you're following your doctor's recommendations. Essential thrombocythemia is thought to be one of the more indolent uh, myeloid proliferative neoplasms. For patients under good control, a life expectancy is uh, approximating normal, meaning that patients with ET uh, don't die any faster than they would otherwise. The progress in chronic myeloid leukemia has been fantastic. About 93% of patients uh, are living a normal lifespan. And because at least 40% uh, of our patients are under the age of 50, this is really a very significant milestone in our therapeutic accomplishments. If you're able to interfere with the biology that drives the disease, then you should be able to stop the disease from progressing and ideally make the disease regress and improve, um, ultimately going down the path of curing the disease and making patients feel better um, and live longer. I also like to emphasize to my patients who have polycythemia and essential thrombocythemia the importance of good cardiac health. The same things which give you a healthy heart actually protect you from having a blood clot so that eating a healthy diet um, exercise, um, keeping your blood pressure under control, keeping your cholesterol under control. All of these things are just as important as what we do to try and to prevent you from having a blood clot or a bad outcome with these diseases. <laughs>